Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music. Thank you for supporting me at my very own project right here. Really appreciate it. Going to break down Green Day for you guys right now. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, we'll see you at the other side. All right, so we're a half step down in our tuning, so E flat tuning, and I've always used the same clean setting on my amp, and then I'm using the full tone OCD pedal with the drive about three quarters of the way up. Uh, so now we start with an E power chord, and it's going to be seventh fret on the A string, ninth on the D, ninth on the G. There's gonna be some other times where we use a different voicing, but we're gonna start with uh, the main thing right now. So E, call this an E power chord, the root's on the seventh of the A, and we're gonna do palm muting with our right hand, all down strums. So if I relax the palm muting, you get, you get the full chord. I just stop letting the strings vibrate under my right palm. So we got jun 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 jun, which is going to be a B power chord. Exact same chord, just up a string. So do you have the time? It's so right on the word time. Do you have the time to live? And we're going to go down to this C sharp, which is fourth fret. 6th fret, 6th fret, so 4th fret A, 4th fret E, just like that, so E to the B, C sharp to G sharp, call that G sharp, then up a half step to A, 5th fret, so A, back to E, then the B, and it's basically chugging, chug, 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 just this little, there's little uh, accents that are not palm muted, but there, there's no exact pattern to it, so you just kind of get into that Billy Joe style rhythm. So here it is. E to B, and then the same thing starting on the fourth fret. Then you move that up a half step to the fifth fret. Back to the E, then the B, and then it starts over again. Here we go with the palm muting. Up a half step, E, then B. So when you're playing the power chords with the root on the A string, I can actually strum all six strings because what's happening is the tip of my index finger is muting that E string, unless I want it to ring out on the first chord. And then also I'm using index, the tip of my index for that note tip of my ring finger, tip of my pinky, and then my index finger is not barring, it's just lightly muting the other strings. A little pro tip there, or semi-pro tip, or beginner tip, whatever. So that's the main part. The next part of the song is A up to B, so fifth fret up to seventh fret power chords. Then E. And those accents are a little more present there. So A, B, E. Same thing again. A, B, E. And then the next one, same thing. And that E note. 
now we don't palm you and we just go John 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 and it's the A root on the seven fifth fourth so so check it out Same thing to the B. Now E five four. Now it's instead of the jun 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 just aggressive alternate strumming. So the next section. Da 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 and it's the E power chord. Then we go down to the B, we're gonna do it right here. Even though it's the same chord here. Same exact chord, but I was just watching them live and they like to do it on the A string for this part. Second fret root. Then up to that C sharp, which is the fourth. So, and then back to the B. Um, so the what happens after the. It just does the exact same thing as we did in the beginning, but instead of, it's just. Same thing, just strummed, open alternate strumming. Then the same thing. It's all the same stuff that we already learned. Now there's another thing you ask me to do, do so I better hold on. That's just A to B, breaking to better hold on. And then eventually it goes, you know, to break it up near the end, it's a very short song. Two minutes, 45 seconds, I think. Um, so it does go back to the palm muting again later on this. And there's another section too that's kind of like a little, little kind of outro cool rhythm thing. <laughs> I'm still going to show you a couple alternate voicings, but let's learn that final section. And then I'm just showing you other ways to play the E chord and the B chord. Not hard, but there's definitely two recorded guitars on it, and one's playing this a lot. The classic ACDC E power chord, as opposed to that one. But they're, they're totally interchangeable. It's just when you play with the open strings on that E chord, it's, it's just a powerful... Uh, Powerful power chord. So here's the little section here. It's seventh on the A, and then index index on the sixth of the D. So that, and then we're adding the ring finger to the seventh of that D. So it's like. You gotta tuck it in there. 
then index is going to grab down to this fourth fret A string, ring fingers on the sixth of the D. So that's just a straight two finger power chord, but we're going to add that same note with our pinky, which is the seventh of the D string. So. Then the A power chord to E power chord to B power chord. that gets you the entire song, but now let's talk about the three main chords of the song are E, B, and A. I mean, there's other chords too, but there's things going on here where you can play them in the open position. So sometimes later in the song, sometimes it's both guitars, but sometimes I've seen Billy Joe go down to this open E later on. So it's just the kind of same thing if you're going... So no different, but what's happening is you would have an E, if you, if you think of an E major chord, and you just mute that G string. You get that big, big E power chord. And then you can play the exact same B chord right here. No different, just on the A string. Two, four, four. So. And then the next two are the same as before. And then you can also do the A power chord instead of right here. You can do this. Same chord, but you just get the open A string in there. A, E power chord to the B. So that's just, you know, another thing. All right, thanks again for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I'd love to hear from you guys. You can leave your request in the comments below. I also appreciate you signing the newsletter at martymusic.com. I uh, hope to see you again real soon. Take care. Whee!